my dorky daddies. How y'all doing? If you are a new age editor, chances are your mouse is critically important to your workflow. I know there's some people that swear by editing on the keyboard only. Um, maybe that'll be a goal of mine in 2025 is to understand how people do that because it just doesn't make sense to me. I need a mouse. I need a good mouse to edit. And because I've been doing this for so many years, I've acquired quite a few mice in those years and essentially have kind of what I believe to be sort of my ranked tier list on which of these mice I would recommend. And I'm gonna try to give an overall recommendation today. The mice in question are the Apple mouse, my super cheap wired Razer gaming mouse that I bought years ago, and the new MX Master 3S. This is a mouse by Logitech. So without further ado, my dorky daddies, let's go through all of my criteria, let's score these mice, and let's get to the bottom of which is the best editing mouse heading in to 2025. Spoiler alert, I do like using all of them for different reasons, but we are going to pick a clear winner. Criteria number one, is it travel friendly? For me, when I say travel friendly, I typically just mean something that is wireless, easy to bring, throw in a backpack, and use with my laptop when I am on the go. Now, ironically, travel friendly can also just mean, hey, I'm maybe using my laptop in the house or, you know, something like that, just not here in the shed, the dorky daddy editing dojo that type of thing. And for this category, we're going to score both the Magic Apple Mouse and the MX Master 3. They're both Bluetooth, they're both wireless, and they check the box for travel friendly. They both get a point here. The Razer does not because it is wired. The next category is weight, and the point for this one is going to go to the Razer. It is kind of a cheap plasticky mouse, but that being said, I love how easy it is to just throw this thing around. It is so lightweight, durability, which we'll talk about later, has still been good for all of these years, and I just really appreciate, again, there's no battery in it, I appreciate how lightweight it is, and it wins in that category because having a big chunky mouse is just not my favorite. If I'm editing, I want to be able to throw it around and, and do stuff quickly, and the Razer gets the point for weight. The next category is, does it have a mouse wheel? So the Razer and the MX-3 get points for this category. Uh, the Magic Mouse does not have a scroll wheel. Why does this matter? Again, I think it's a lot of personal preference, but if you edit in DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro like I do, having a scroll wheel drastically improves your experience for editing in DaVinci Resolve. You can do it with the Magic Mouse, but gosh, it just kind of is terrible. DaVinci Resolve just has not been well optimized throughout the years for the scrolling, unilateral kind of touchpad mouse wheel, that it, invisible mouse wheel that that mouse has. But that being said, it has gotten a lot better than it used to be but it's still not as good as a scroll wheel in my experience. So scroll wheel points go to the Razer and the MX Master. Real quick little asterisk side footnote, let's just hit this really quick. If you use Final Cut Pro and if you edit on the go a lot and you want to use a mouse, the Magic Mouse is actually really good with Final Cut Pro. Everything I just talked about, the side scrolling, the scrolling and zooming and all of that, that is not well optimized in DaVinci Resolve is incredibly optimized in Final Cut Pro. So if you want a really compact, tiny little travel mouse, and you know that you edit in Final Cut Pro, the scrolling and side scrolling and navigation with that Magic Mouse is actually really good. So I am going to give it a point for that because I do love it for that. But again, you gotta not be using DaVinci Resolve because otherwise I just don't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Next category is buttons and macros. Uh, the MX Master 3 gets a point here. It has the most buttons, it has the most scroll wheels. I don't particularly care about this one too much because I just have never really been a big fan of moving buttons and macros to my mouse. Again, maybe that's something I want to look more into for 2025, uh, but we'll give it the point. Again, for me, not a huge massive thing that I care about. Now for the arguably most important one. The next category is the look of it. How do these mice look? 
do I look cool using them? That matters, right? You know, I mean, I guess we say dorky dad on this channel, so I probably shouldn't care about this, but this point goes to the MX Master, in my opinion. It looks the nicest, looks the coolest, and just generally speaking is my favorite one to kind of pick up and, and use just on appearance alone, because that matters. <laughs> Next category is build quality. I'm going to give everyone a point on this one. They are all really good. Uh, I've had a lot of these for years. The MX Master is my newest pickup, so maybe it's a little bit early to judge on build quality, because it's only been maybe a couple months at this point point. Um, that being said, though, again, I don't baby my mice. My razor looks disgusting. I use it all the time. It gets jammed and thrown around. Uh, the Apple mouse has been taken on a thousand trips and thrown around, and they all have held up. And I think the MX Master feels good in my experience so far. I've been throwing it in the backpack to kind of see how it holds up. And so far, I got to say, it's doing doing well. It's holding up. So build quality, they all get a point. Again, the Razer feels cheap, but in my experience, it's probably held up way better than I ever expected it to. So everyone gets a point here. Okay, guys, the next category is clicking experience. Now for this, I just have a huge list of notes and I'm going to just go through this list. I'm going to read it because I think all of this stuff is really important. And this is the super nerdy nitpicky stuff. And again, it is subjective. It's kind of what you like, but I don't know. I'm an editor. I do this stuff. Here's kind of my thoughts on the clicking experience of these mice. And again, at the end, I'll give an overall point to whoever I think has the best clicking experience. The Razer is the easiest and loudest click, which I like. It's my favorite mouse to click. The Logitech is not clicky, and they took this out on purpose. The older version, from what I've heard, is much clickier. Um, but that being said, I do really enjoy the physicalness of the click. It's just not a loud one, which, again, you may prefer more than I do. I kind of like a clicky mouse myself, so I don't like it as much as the Razer, but the experience and the feel of it is just as good in my opinion. The Magic Mouse is hard to click. Um, I know that this is getting, you know, really split in hairs here, but the Magic Mouse is hard to click, and I've just never enjoyed the clicking experience on the Magic Mouse. It just feels like it takes too much energy. And again, that's probably due to the ergonomic disaster that it is, but that's my two cents. The scroll wheel on the Razer is very easy to click, which I love because for DaVinci Resolve, I use that middle click and drag all of the time. And I really love the scroll wheel click on the Razer. It's very easy, but not too easy. And it just has a really satisfying tactile feel to it. On the other hand, the MX middle scroll wheel click is not my favorite. I love the scroll wheel. We'll talk about that in a second, but the clicking of it is a little bit harder. It's not quite as easy. It feels a little bit clunkier to do than it does when I'm using the razor. Again, Kind of split in hairs here, but I do prefer the Razer's middle mouse button click. But let's get back to that scroll wheel on the MX Master. It is amazing. The infinite scroll, the detachable lock. It's like hard to explain until you've actually used it. But basically, if you flick that thing hard enough, it just spins. It goes from kind of the ratcheted clicking sort of scroll wheel that you would come to expect from a mouse to just this infinite like completely loose scroll. Um, there's not a lot of like practical use cases for this, but it is a great fidget toy. I love it for that. And again, if you want to scroll really fast, it can be pretty fun for that, which if you're zooming around in a timeline, it can be nice. It can be nice, but I love that on the MX Master. This one surprised me, but the side scroll on the MX, I thought I would love it. That little side scroller on there, I thought it would be amazing. And honestly, I don't. I don't find it very useful. It's in an awkward position, and I just don't really find myself using it, even in DaVinci Resolve, which is where I thought I would love it. And again, it's a tough one to place. I get where the more you scoot that thing up, it gets in the way. It becomes kind of painful and easy to bump. So it's kind of a tough, tough one to win, but I just... I was really hoping to like it, and so far I barely use it because... It's just, it's just kind of awkward to get to. It feels like I'm just jamming my thumb right back up in my hand. Ergonomics obviously go to either the Razer or the MX Master. The Apple Magic Mouse is an ergonomic disaster. It hurts to use for long periods of time. It's like basically flat 
Like this thing is just, we, we all know this, this mouse is not good for that. So ergonomics and just like the feel of the mouse that I like to hold on to and use goes to the Razer and the MX. I might slightly prefer the Razer, but they're pretty, pretty close on that one. Overall clicking experience, the point goes to the Razer, but again, we are really splitting hairs here. The MX is a very good close second and clicking, ergonomics, all of that stuff, the Magic Mouse does not get a point, absolutely does not get a point for this category. So my favorite clicking using use mouse is the Razer with the MX being right up behind it. Dorky daddies, that's all the categories. And so with that, the score comes out to three to five to five. And with those scores, I think it's pretty safe to say that my overall pick, my pick that checks enough of my master of all boxes is the MX Master 3S. It's both portable, wireless, and travelable, <laughs> but it's also got good ergonomics and a scroll wheel and some really nice cl clickiness to it that I enjoy. So the overall winner is the MX Master 3S. And that probably doesn't surprise anyone, but let's, let's talk a little bit more here. If I am in the shed, if I'm sitting down here in my dojo to just bang out a whole bunch of editing, the Razer is actually my preferred mouse of choice. Again, the score was neck and neck, and just the responsiveness of a wired mouse, how light and easy it is to use that middle mouse for clicking, I do prefer that mouse in the shed. If I am getting into a heavy session, that is the mouse that I prefer. And then again, we kind of touched on it earlier, but I do bring the Apple Magic Mouse on some travel situations where every little bit counts if I'm just really traveling with like maybe a camera and my laptop and a charger and that's it. You know, maybe one lens, whatever the case may be, like my light, light, light travel kit. I do bring this mouse because I like to use a mouse more than the trackpad and it is really light. Probably I'm hoping to use Final Cut Pro if that's what I'm doing because I don't like using it with DaVinci Resolve, but that would be my pick for the super lightweight travel situation. Again, very edge case, but I think it's worth calling out because this mouse gets a lot of crap, but for travel and portability, and if you're using Apple's software, like this is a good mouse. It, it's, it's better than everyone says for that use case. All right, my dorks, but that is everything for today. So if I had to recommend a mouse to go buy, it would be the Logitech. Um, especially if you're doing lots of different things, but if you're just doing your desk setup, I love this Razer. Definitely recommend that. And again, it's cheap. It's cheap as heck and it works so good. Um, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We like to talk about all things editing, DaVinci, Final Cut, just editing. That's what we love to talk about on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, consider subscribing. Did I say that already? <laughs> and if you've watched a few videos and you like what we're doing over here in the Dorky Dad Dojo editing shed, uh, consider becoming a Dorky Dad member. We love our Dorky Dads. They're probably bigger nerds than me. Uh, congratulations and thank you for the support, guys. Really appreciate you. Um, you are the best. We love you. So that's it. I'm gonna go for this one. Thank you, guys. I will see you in the next video. And uh, as always, stay dorky. Thank <laughs> you.